What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're back with more God of War. So, before we continue on with the main story, um, I go. This one. So, I remember there were a couple areas down in the Witch's Cave in particular, um, and I thought we had to have some type of basically time ability to, like, um, fix the, the the broken sand drawing thing. Quite a few of you have mentioned that there is no time ability, there's just a different way to get around it, so decided going to head on back over there, take a peek, and figure it out. Because treasures. I love treasures. Take this bad boy up. Oh boy. A lot of you are also still very insistent on a chest that I missed in Alpheim, so maybe I'll go do that this episode too. We'll make this like the, the last like clean up episode. Because it seems that from this point onward, there's gonna be a lot of uh, you know, just a lot of following the main story. And so I feel it's important to take an opportunity to kinda go around and snag up things that I may have missed that are things that I would want. So I actually do this a lot <clears throat> in different uh, Let's Play series. I'll usually have like a missed items episode. Alright, so here's the Winds of Hell. First thing is, where do we put this little bugger at? Use that to open chest that was like or something. I'm thinking. Oh shit, right there. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? I bet we could make it over there in time. Atreus, to me. Right, and we can break those. So now that this is here. I think I need to get over to that side and then pull it over and use it to lock something. I think it was up this way. I don't remember the, this door. Remember if this goes anywhere. Well, no, yeah. I don't think we're going this way. So I had to use sap to break whatever was there open. That and... Uh, that. Now the question is, where do we move L2? That looks like we move... I don't think we go over all the way. I think we go like halfway. Climb up this. There's the chest that I want. It's gonna involve lowering that platform after I get up top. Got the winds of hell over here. Let me climb up first, and then I'll. Tr oh. Right there. Okay. There we go. And oh, okay. And then I'll use. It is. It's another one of those sandals. <laughs> oh, Trey, stop fucking with the camera. I can't see, boy. God 
damn kid almost made me miss it. Rampage of the Furies. Oh, wow. Alright, that is pretty badass looking. But, will it beat the Blast? I mean, I do like that it's like a multi-hit. And it looks like it gets maxed out damage. Level 3 burn. Well, won't hurt to use it. We have a plethora of XP at this point, so... Try it out. This one... I don't really like. That's like his, uh, oh no, that one was kind of cool, but it seems like it's very niche, you know? Spartan charges work well. Cyclone seems like a huge waste. It seems the same as my, my hold L1 attack. This one's good. This one looks like it could be good, but it doesn't actually reach max damage, so fuck that. This thing just looks badass. Just like boom, 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 boom. Little combo hits. Murder of Crows. Lots of damage and a little bit of stun. That's kind of what I had going on here. So this is 4 1. This will be 5 5 1 1. The wolf seems. Wolves are good. Six hundred eighteen. Wonder if it just lasts longer. Really increased duration. Summon twelve crows. I'll try it. They look more like little wisps than trolls or uh, crows, but I'll try it out and see if it's effective. Because it might be like that it locks enemies down for a while, and if that's the case, that could be really useful against the upcoming Valkyries. I mean, even though most of the Valkyries are dead by this point, but I got boss Valkyries left, you know, so it'll be good. Be helpful in that situation. All right, so let's see. Seven minutes in, let's go to. Really want to go to Alfheim? Alfheim is kind of far. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go to Alfheim. Let's go to Alfheim. Find this chest. Everyone is like, you need to got it. Let's see what's inside. One good thing is going to Alfheim, I'll probably run into some Dark Elves, so I can at least test out my new stuff. Really wish I could use these portals to teleport between realms. I don't like it. I don't remember visiting half of these fuck two that I knock out. Okay now let me let me one thing at a time. Let me go one over. Honestly in retrospect this probably would have been better to do as a live stream type thing because that way I could have people actively in chat being like, you missed this, go grab this, go here. Because the thing is, like, I mean, yeah, you guys can comment, of course, but as I've mentioned many times before, I record these episodes quite a bit of it in advance. Though it is catching up, since we're getting closer to the end of the game. Um, like right now, I think this would be Wednesday's episode, and I'm recording it on Saturday just before, so the comments you guys have been leaving are getting pretty up to date you know they're they're catching up and i know the rest of the episodes that you guys haven't seen so far is mostly just valkyrie hunting i think uh, valkyrie hunting hunting more valkyries and then doing full time that's monday and Tuesday. so a lot of the uh missed content comments that have been made by this point are probably accurate 
looking at my episodes, I have like a bunch of pieces for the, the Monster Hunter build and just waiting. I'm just like, uh, I really need to do that. I feel like every time I get a chance to record, I sit down and then I'm like, alright, let's knock out some more God of War. And I'll record like three or four episodes. And poor Monster Hunter, this build never gets finished because every damn time I turn on my PlayStation, I start recording God of War. <laughs> it's like it's a legitimate problem. I need to, uh, I don't know, right now I'm going to try and make my way towards the end of the game today. If I can finish it, that would be great. But I do want to try and get to the end because there's a lot of other, I want to do my May update, I want to do the, uh, that build video I just mentioned. A lot of stuff I want to tackle and I just can't seem to find the time because every time I go to record I end up playing more God of War. Which really is a testament to just how good this game is. Are we lost? Nah. <sighs> that way. I have no idea where this chest is that everyone was saying. Damn it, every time. Every time. Get over here. Oh, shit. Raced! This way. Oh, that's the path. I don't like that. Oh wait, never mind. I do. Guessing it was during kind of I uh like a puzzle thing. Could this be it? Did I miss this? No, there's no I even dock for this. I feel like if I missed a runic chest after solving the puzzle, I don't think that could be it. People would be freaking out a lot more if that was it. Place is a lot prettier now that the uh, light elves have taken over again. Temple. 
The ring is just as beautiful as I'd remembered. Freya. A Vanir god. Freya's brother, actually. Freya has a long history with the elves. One of the few gods welcome here. Yeah. I wanted to go down below, because I think that's... Imagine it's down there somewhere. Where I spent my time while... <laughs> Chest is definitely hit. That one. Her name is Groa. Groa, the knowledge keeper. Looks like she had visions. Aye, as an augurer, she was unsurpassed. Did Odin kill her for her book? Remind me to tell you that story. That chest. found the chest that everyone was huh. speaking about. Right, now the question is, where are the parts to open it? I feel like I got all the parts for this chest and I just failed to claim it. All be relative close proximity for bell game. Father, after what we did, giving control of the temple back to the light ops. Do you think the war is over? At least for a while? No, Atreus. The dark elves may have scattered for now, but some other will rise to lead them, and they will surely attack again. Radia does right, son. I see. Wait, are they single? No. Alright, hang on. <laughs> Let me get up there. Because of the bell ones, you gotta be in like... all in a... R, C... That one, was that the C one that I saw? Down C. Down the R. Missing. Kind of looks like a. Did I hit that from here? need to get a go So what do we have Wow, a symbol of defiance. 
Wow. Wow, that's so, so good. What would I have ever done without this? Wow, a whole nine cooldown. Man, so glad I came back. Oh my god. How would I ever play this game without that nine cooldown? Wow, that's so useful. Oh man, it's almost like now that I already have my rage and my health max that the chests are filled with outright garbage. Wow. That's enough of that. Um, isn't there, there's supposed to, I thought there was a gateway like right here. A little bit. My Kratos is covering it up. Realm tear encounter here. Which I do not care about. Shop. Uh, it might be faster to get to that. Uh, get all the way back. Oh, you know, it wasn't a lot. Uh, let's just go back. Let's go back. Can't even select it. Maybe it's because I'm in movement right now. Let's see. Oh, whatever. If I head back towards that, I'll get out of here. But hey, I mean, at least going down into the Witch's Cave, we got some good shit. Spell, which seems to be pretty good with the stun lock, as well as the damage. So, we'll, so I mean, the big thing is about the, the Blast of Hephaestus. I really like that, because you just, just... It's like a giant wave you launch out. Everything that is in line with that wave is going to get put on fire and decimated for a big chunk of health, so... The one I just picked up, I think it may be better against the Valkyries. Just because it seems like it has some stunlock potential, but at the same time, you know, I feel that it may suffer from um, you know, taking too long to execute. Kind of how my Ice Beam is. Like, the Ice Beam is great as an opening move when the Valkyrie is, like, stuck in her wake-up animation, but still vulnerable. But outside of that, it's just too damn risky to use. And I'm wondering if... Nick I just picked up is going to suffer from uh, similar detriment where I just can't quite get it off in time to enough damage without taking hits. I mean, if it stun locks, yes. If stun lock exists. It'll definitely be good, but big if. Make our way back to tears now, I suppose. setting.
remember going this way to get to... I thought it was like right under the stairs. Tears rune. This is it. Different room. Hmm. Hidden shape. We're inside. But what is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. Maybe it's like I can use this side to access Jotunheim. Look up there. Looking, boy, I don't... Crystal. Let me get back to where he's at so I can see what the hell this child is yelling about. Save magic to protect the black rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Huh. Right next to the Udenon door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here. Well, one inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. Looks like more giant. Whatever it here did for them must have been big. Circles around. Well, uh, hang on a second. Yeah, it's just circles around. Whoa, who are they? This is the rune for Jotunheim. That's right. And look, we're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. It's moving. What's moving? Everything. <laughs> Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> we can flip the temple. All right. Do you... what now? Flip the temple. Wow. Uh-oh. Things are happening. Okay. I don't think they're attacking. Want me to read this one? I think they're gonna. Alright, we're gonna wrap this one up here because it seems like shit's gonna go down with some boss fights and some puzzles. So either way, stay tuned. More God of War coming your way a little bit later today, and we'll catch you guys then.